All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. So we are helping you win in any marketplace, and we've got Alex Lima in studio, Black Belt Fitness and Martial Arts, and uh, Black Black Belt under, underscore Jitsu as well on uh, Instagram. You can find them on Facebook as well. Um, welcome to the show. Thank you, my brother. Always good to be here. Yeah, man. So we go from uh, you know talking to attorney where we're talking about you know financial type stuff now we're going back to health and nutrition and self-defense well, it's and defense and defense that's right it's both perfect follow-up that's right, right? Isn't it cool? legal defense and physical defense that's where the consumer qb show can go anytime man cover never it know. all it's like you know i love it because we're, we're a consumer advocate in all these different areas and so uh, let's let's start with um let's start with self-defense you know since we kind of went off that's a, that's an interesting story because you're also a paramedic uh you're you're working in the health field and uh, man, what a rough year health care workers have had this year. Oh, it's been absolute. It's something out of like a, a really low budget science fiction movie. <laughs> yeah. Really bad, but lots of action and explosions. You know? Yeah, exactly. But uh, but yeah, man, you know, and then uh, specifically uh, being a, I mean, I've been a paramedic now for over 13 years. And um, uh, specifically where I'm at now, I, I, my cl- the clientele, quote unquote, is uh, typically behavioral health and uh, drug and alcohol withdrawal. So Ooh. I get people that are just off the chain sometimes, uh, actually all the tough. time. Real it's tough. it's tough. It's tough. And you, and you have to be a certain uh, type of person and have a certain demeanor in order, in order to be able to do it. And like Jason was stating earlier about having your heart into what you're doing. Yeah. You know, we were talking about in the lobby, uh, ha- having passion for what you do. Yeah, because uh, not just anybody can do those types of jobs. Yeah, absolutely. It's or do important. them well, rather. Yeah, and it's it's a situation. You know, when you look at, I mean, firsthand experience. I was in the hospital. I had my chest cut open in a bypass, and you know, a couple of times I was a little frustrated. You know, and I know some of the nurses are overworked and and hours and the long thing. But you know, when you're needing pain medication or whatever, you know, it's a it's a tough scenario. It's a tough dynamic that plays out. So. You know, my hat's off to all the healthcare workers out there. I mean, and I know it's a tough situation. Um, you know, right here we had a jet fly over the station. We're like, wait, what is that? And there's a some kind of a jet just flew over the Salem Media here. Uh, but um, so yeah, Alex. You know, and, and interesting story. You had you, you were telling that story earlier about having to subdue someone that came in. Yeah, uh, not the not the first time. You know, many times in, in my uh, in my and obviously in both my martial arts career uh, and my um, street career as being a first responder on the street and in the hospital setting, um, I've come into situations where I've had to use uh, control tactics. You yeah. Know, to, and especially you know when uh, when I'm doing the martial arts thing as you know as a as a fighter, uh, my job is to cause damage and hurt the person. On um, the flip side of that, yin and yang, uh, when yeah. I am. Uh, when this person comes to me and they're under my care, it's health care, right? Um, even though they need to be restrained, I cannot mm-hmm. physically hurt them. Or I don't want to anyway. So yeah. you have to go from one aspect of causing damage and the other one is just restraining yeah. uh, while causing minimal to no damage, obviously. So, yeah, just uh, this it's happened multiple times. But uh, this this latest occurrence was, uh, you know, without giving away too much details for HIPAA and stuff, uh, Again, I work in uh, behavioral health, so uh, a gentleman came in and uh, was pretty much uh, strung out on meth. And mm-hmm. um, if you've never had to tussle with somebody strung out on meth, you haven't lived. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> yeah. So they, they get crazy strong and they're real aggressive. And it's basically like a surge of adrenaline that just like will not come down, wow. you know. And uh, anyways, you know, long story short, we, we uh, tried every tactic that we could initially to get him to calm down on his own. He was initially restrained, handcuffed by the deputies. But those those handcuffs have to come off. The deputy can't stay there for 24 hours or 72 hours while this patient is there, you know. Mm. So they give them to us, and we had to, uh, after exhausting everything else, we did the appropriate care and uh, chemically restrained him, yeah. you know, using pharmaceuticals, uh, the appropriate ones. And then, but, you know, being, uh, you know, addicts and people with their blood boiling and the adrenaline going, that stuff, they burn through that. So those right. chemicals eventually wear off. Right. And then they get to the point where they want to attack. So, you know, fast forward to where the drugs wore off. Um, I had to, uh, it was just me and him and like this one other, uh, female and, uh, I had to control him. I, or I had, I had to, I had to control him using control taxes, but I utilized uh, just a blanket mm-hmm. in order to, uh, just basically hog tied him in a blanket and held him down. Whereas to in like an MMA situation or life or death situation, I could, you know, I could strike, I can, you know, basically cave a guy's face. in if I had to, yeah, in yeah. that scenario. Yeah. So it's an honorable thing that you're doing then, you know, working, you know, working to, 
to keep the person, you know, in a, in a non-harmed situation in the state so I can receive his medical attention. Let's switch gears. Let's talk a little bit about exercise and diet. You know, I think a lot of folks out there are saying, hey, you know, this COVID thing, I was in the house, I was used to be more active, I'm not getting out as much. What are some some ideas? What are some tips, maybe some tricks about, you know, getting, getting in a, a diet regimen, an exercise regimen that actually works? Yeah, so I mean, we could, you know, can always go over basic protocols, but a lot of these basic rules people already know, they just choose not to follow them, you know, Mm -hmm. don't eat too many sweets, not too many fried foods, we know pretty much wrong and right, what foods are good, what foods are, you know, quote unquote bad. Yeah. But now depending on your goal, you got to fine tune those things. And every single diet, there is no catch all diet. I hate when people just try to sell a diet, like I don't don't want to name brand diets or whatever, but you know, this, this special uh, low carb diet and this high fat diet and all this stuff. Yeah. You, needs and and diet and dietary needs are all based upon the individual's goals. Mm-hmm. You know, a football player has different dietary needs than a golfer. A golfer and a football player and a soccer player, have, you know, martial artist. Everybody has different dietary needs. The mm-hmm. woman that's trying to lose weight for her wedding mm-hmm. is going to train differently than the Olympic sprinter. You know, yep. so there are some basic protocols, but in the end, you have to get with a trainer or somebody that has more knowledge when it comes to diet and nutrition to fine tune specifically for what you're trying to achieve. Yeah. But, you know, basically, you know, watch your caloric intake. That part is simple. The, 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 to break it down as, as simple as I possibly can. Yeah. In order to gain weight, you have to take in more calories than you burn. Yep. If you want to lose weight, you have to burn more calories than you take in. You have to be in a deficit. Yeah. That's just basic calories, right? So let's say a 2,000 calorie diet. In reality, 2,000 calories is 2,000 calories. You could eat just spoonfuls of sugar all day to get 2,000 calories. And as long yeah. as that's under your caloric intake uh, regimen, you're going to lose weight. Yeah. Now, it's not healthy for your body. I'm not saying to do that. Yeah. But um, y- your macronutrients and your micronutrients, your fats, your proteins, your carbohydrates, your vitamin intake, that's going to make a difference on your body's composition and mm-hmm. the way that you look. So one of them is going to make you lose and gain weight. Yeah. The other one is going to fine tune you to ma- whether you're going to be lean like an athlete or if you're going to be, you know, just have excess body fat on and you. And that's why you see a lot of times through those bodybuilders, they'll be waking up in the middle of the night, taking an extra, you know, big, big, heavy protein shake or something along those lines, getting those extra calories, cutting out the catabolic system. That's even taking it a level above because now after you fine tune your macronutrients and your micronutrients, we know what we need. Now we need to pinpoint what time of day you need that, mm. you know, to keep that going. They have to con- bodybuilders have to be constantly in an anabolic state building. So that guy's got to wake up at three in the morning and have a shake and have some cottage cheese or something like that. Yeah. Otherwise, he's going to start to lose those those gains that he's working so hard to get. Taking in that protein. We're talking with Alex Lima here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, Black Belt Fitness and Martial Arts. Uh, martial Arts is a fun thing to do as well. It's it's an educational thing. It's a self-defense. You can protect yourself as well. Talk a little bit about Martial Arts. Well, and then the mental benefits, you know, uh, uh, it's a stress reliever. A lot of my guys, when we get together, we call it mat therapy. And yeah. I promise you it's cheaper than going to like a psych doctor yeah. every every week or whatever. <laughs> there you go. You know? uh, yeah. And then also like the benefits of increasing your ability to focus and concentrate. You know, it helps yeah. with ADHD. It helps with depression. It helps with, you know, everything. Great for kids. Oh, kids, adults, any anybody. There's there's really n- not a single person that martial arts were, would not benefit, would not benefit. Yeah. But kids specifically, you know, they're um, they're being molded. You know, they're being programmed. They're going to be turning into the person that they're going to be for the rest of their life. The earlier you can get them in to start working on discipline, focus, healthy habits, they're going to carry that those lessons with them their entire life. Yeah. And especially if you live in a household where it's not like a big deal, like maybe your mom and dad or whatever weren't so fit or into it. You could truly benefit your child by putting them with someone, a coach, a mentor that is that way. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to start picking up those little traits and habits that's going to carry on for the rest of their life. That's right. I mean, it's habits. I I remember it was something where I read, you know, habits are thousands times more likely than just wanting to do something. I forgot the study that I saw, but, you know, it makes sense. When you have these habits, the body, you know, human beings are naturally habitual you know we we have so many different habits that we probably don't even realize that we do but we do you know whether it's you know how we do a certain activity a certain way every time or even our language patterns things that we say a, a certain way a certain time but the habit side i think is a big key and if you can take and replace something that's a negative habit with something positive even if it's a small uh you know and you start compounding that you get in that compound effect Oh, absolutely. And it's funny that you bring that up because I was actually reading a, a study on, on habits and uh, I, I realized how important they are. Um, 
But, uh, you know, the majority of your habits come from your subconscious. Mm -hmm. So it's what you pick up from your genetics and what you pick up from your environment and the things that you intake, the books you read, the music yeah. you listen to, the, the things that you study and put your eye on. That's you right. Know, that's where your focus is. Those are going to mold you and, and, and become your habits. Yeah. That, it's, it's amazing because that's when you get into, like, hypnosis and how you can program people and Tony Robbins with his, um, you know, incantations and saying positive things. You know, putting yourself in a positive state. Uh, and by the way, yesterday's show we talked about uh, the gentleman. He uh, was he he went across the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, he rode across the Atlantic Ocean. It was something like three thousand miles or something crazy, and uh, just amazing. But the human body. That's my point. Is that the human body can can really a accomplish some amazing feats as long as we prep it we plan it and we and we execute it well and you have the discipline to put yourself through that too you yeah know, discipline is you know discipline equals freedom we know that right yeah um you you have to that's the number one trait that you, i think needs to be developed in all people because if you have discipline there's essentially nothing that you can't master or accomplish yeah talk about your location your classes uh you know what you're looking for help folks to come out yeah so we're near the citrus park like mall area um right now my group classes for the most part are full i have maybe three or four spots left for my day and evening classes when it comes to groups but i do have private training and uh, personal lessons still available nice. so you can reach out to me uh 813-426-1588 or look me up uh you know black belt jones black That's belt right. underscore jitsu you can find me i have a youtube channel with lots of great free content and i'm gonna start uh, cranking out the content there as well very good. Yep, and we'll take a quick break here. When we come back, I want to dive a little into uh, some of the UFC talk we were talking about earlier. So some interesting stuff. Why don't you tee it up, tease us for us? Yeah, uh, you know, just great things. A lot of behind the scenes things when it comes to mixed martial arts and the, the business aspect that people don't understand. Yeah, you know? with and Dana White. The, yeah, and, and, and uh, getting in a kind of a little tussle, little tiffs with reporters and people he doesn't play so well with. Yeah, yeah. Let's dive into that when we come back, and also our feel good story of the day. Find out about this business owner in Hawaii who uh, met the man that stole from him, and then he hired him. So pretty cool story right here. Stay with us, Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Hey, I'm Ken Shamrock, and you're here with Consumer Quarterback Show. And I say, Brandon Rhymes, knock out your competition. So, all right, we're back here in studio. Coming up, we got Julian Barbone as well, Cancer, Children's Cancer Center. But I wanted to go back to Alex. So, Alex, when you talk about you know UFC, man, what what are what is their market cap? I wonder, like, what's how much money is the re UFC responsible for now? I mean, what a big company, right? It's it's a multi million dollar company. Big time payouts, uh, you know, for some of the fights. The the fighters actually don't make as much. Some people say, well, the the fighters maybe should be paid more. Dana's keeping too much money at the top. But talk about that little thing happening with the ESPN reporter and, and some of that stuff. What you've seen from the MMA side. Sure, well, as you know, like you know, ESPN and and UFC have the deal. But how do they have that deal? It's because they were uh, purchased by Disney. Mm. Any, anything that's owned by Disney is, is making money. You know, they yeah. don't put they don't put money into anything that's not going to make great returns. You know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, uh, UFC is the, is the biggest brand because they're, uh, they're just so professional, you know, when it, when like the amateur shows and things like that, there's a lot of things of like people, you know, the UFC may be underpaying some of their fighters that aren't stars yet, but there are some promotions that just straight scam and don't, don't even pay the fighters after fighting. Don't Jeez. pay for the medical bills. Nothing. It's pretty wow. bad. The amateur scene is, is, that's a story for another day. Yeah. It's, that's it's crazy. Pretty insane. I've seen some of that. Um, but yeah, you know, and then as far as like stuff with the reporters and that, it's just, uh, you know, the UFC is, uh, they're, they're the biggest show in town. They're the, the biggest brand, most, you know, well known. So they can essentially call the shots whenever they want things. So if they don't like something that a reporter said, even if it was an ESPN, you know, announcer or, or sportscaster or whatever, uh, they'll, they'll get them cut. They'll blacklist them and they won't even be able to buy a hot dog in the venue where the, where the fights are taking place. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's yeah. interesting, man. You look at that, you know, we've had. Ken Shamrock on the show over the years and some interesting stuff. Who's the who's the best name in, in uh, MMA right now? Top few, two or three names. Fighters, yeah. fighter wise. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, well, as far as uh, the UFC, um, uh, the big one coming up in March sixth, the fight is going to be Israel Adesanya, mm -hmm. and he's pretty much uh, well known as like being one of the uh, most creative and best strikers in the game right now. Mm. Uh, he actually uh, fought Anderson Silva, uh, which he was a big fan of. He grew up watching Anderson Silva, so he fought his idol and beat him. Wow. And there's a very actually emotional video afterwards of the interview where they're hugging each other. He's actually crying because he beat Anderson, wow. because he beat his idol. Yeah, because he was pretty creative his own Oh, he was right. the man. Anderson was the man. Yeah. And uh, he told him, he goes, I, he, he told him, he goes, I passed the torch to you. He goes, you're the man now. 
Wow. He told that's him like cool. that for your idol. You know what I'm saying? To, yeah. To How say cool that, that to yeah. you, like that's huge, man. That's How cool huge, is that? I know? wonder if any of the quarterbacks told Tom Brady that. Oh man, somebody that. <laughs> it's, uh, that's, it's just yeah. Any sport where your idol tells you, hey, you're the man now. Yeah. That's just like I mean, that's, that's the ultimate accomplishment. That's pretty cool. You've reached the pinnacle. That's very know? cool. I mean, Tiger Woods saying that to somebody younger at some point. I mean, how cool would that be? But um, cool, man. People want to check you out. They, they can look for uh, diet, nutrition, exercise. I know you're doing some stuff online now as well. And if they say, hey, I got still a little nervous about COVID, but I'd like some personal training. You can do it over the Internet now. A lot of cool things. Uh, close us out with your uh, your final final thought. Here. Yeah, I mean, with me, you can train online. Uh, we can train out of distance even when we're with each other. Or we can be, you know, uh, close and do some hands-on stuff. But all precautions are followed. We I use hospital-grade disinfectant on everything, all my equipment. We do temperature checks. We use hand sanitizer. All equipment must be clean and sterile before we touch it and use it. So it's a very safe training environment. Cool. And where do, where do we find you at? Uh, you can call me, 813-426-1588. Or you can look me up online, Black Belt Fitness and Martial Arts Club. Very cool. All right. Good stuff. Thanks for coming in. Anytime.